Hello, everybody, and welcome to uh, one in another series of videos on Trimble Prism lock-on methods. Uh, again, we're talking about a robotic total station operating Trimble field link. Here we can see that robotic total station set up on a deck, uh, tracking a prism here on our setup. We have an MT-1000, and we're talking about brief interference breaks in the line of sight due to sight interference, either uh, something on the site getting in the way, or perhaps you walk behind something and break this line of sight. Uh, that line of sight is how we're tracking where we are on our site um, accurately in accordance to where our unit is. And so when that's broken, we need to lock back on uh, one of many ways. One of which is this MT-1000 using the directed channel. A really good uh, standard of living improvement using this MT-1000, so it only tracks to that channel. Other videos show the visual lock-on using Trimble method as well as the red and green track light method. Uh, however, this video is on the data collector method and uh, we also have separate videos on the panoramic photo method as well. Again, we're gonna be talking about the data collector method. This method assumes you are accurately set up on your site. Um, <clears throat> before we jump into that, I just wanna tell you, we're, this video is brought to you by Building Point West. Uh, if you wanna learn more about FieldLink Office and robotic total stations, please reach out to us at the number above. Inside FieldLink, we see that the robotic total station has been accurately set up due to the blue indicator there. We also see a blue crosshair of where we are standing, as well as a solid hexagon shape indicating we are actively tracking a prism. When we lose that tracking, that hexagon will start to spin, and a red dashed line will indicate where the robotic total station is currently aiming. That line will continue into infinity, and so you just have to get to a recognizable location on the background file, be it a grid intersection or a room in this area you're in, and tap on that location on the screen. Most often you'll be in layout, so let me pop over there, and what you'll see is, is the instructions of where to go have disappeared, and that hexagon is a rotating, up, rotating up top. So I'll just tap on where I'm standing in this room, and the picture in picture will show that uh, ro rotating and searching robot head. Once it finds me, that hexagon goes solid, and I can carry on with my day. And that's the easiest way, I think, to lock back onto a prism. Thanks, see you next time.